Before we get started, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell icon. Hey people, welcome back. Another point is you can use all the arithmetic operators that is plus, minus, multiplication or division operators in where clause as well. For example, you can also give something like this. That is, you can just give where subtotal plus tax amount is greater than 500. So you see, if I execute this, now you see this particular column will be having values which is greater than 500. But please note, you cannot give something like this. That is, where this particular temporary column name is greater than 500. And you see, it gives a red underline and it says invalid column name. If I execute, you see it gives an error. This is because the order of execution in SQL Server Engine is different. So what happens is, SQL Server Engine first considers from clause and then it reads the where clause and at end it reads the select clause. So that is the reason first it goes to this particular table and then it goes to where statement and it tries to find this particular column. But until now this particular column is not defined. So that is the reason this particular query fails. So in this particular case you can just give here subtotal plus tax amount is greater than 500 and this will perfectly work. Now another point to note is that let's say if you are into this particular table that is person table and you see here if I just delete all these and if I just say select star from person dot person table and you see here I have to just correct this and if I execute this now you see I'm getting all the columns and you see here let's say I want to get the first name middle name and last name so I can just give here first name and then middle name comma last name and if I just execute this you see I'm getting all these columns and Let's say I want to combine all these columns. For example, I want to create a full name where it is combination of first name, middle name and last name. Then I can just give plus operator as well. So for that, what I have to do is I have to give first name plus middle name plus I can give last name and let's give an alias for example i'll just say full name just execute this and you see to execute you can just click on this execute button or you can press f5 in your keyboard right both the options you have and now you see the full name is first name plus middle name plus last name so when you use plus operator with integers or numeric fields then it will add those numbers but if you use plus operator with strings then it behaves as concatenation that is combining multiple strings and just to make it more better what you can do is you can just give first name and then you can add a space so I can just give you see here I have just added a space inside two single quotes and here also I can just give single quote space and then I'll just give plus last name and if I execute this now you see it looks more better right so this is also another way to use plus operator